Uh, this is, what the, yeah, it's recording. Uh, we're doing the Warlock Minute here today with, uh, Kaylee. Yes, I know, he's, she cut her hair butch. <laughs> uh, so, Kaylee, uh, well, what are your thoughts on, uh, on the new 3.2 patch from a Warlock perspective in regard to buffs, nerfs, uh, you know, the emblem of conquest, uh, you know, welfare gear, same, same gig as, uh, back in BC. Uh, what, what are your, what are your thoughts? I like turtles. <laughs> no, <laughs> Um, I don't know, I mean, as far as the Warlock goes, we didn't get much of a nerf. We, you know, we took a nerf in Cataclysm, but, uh, I, I heard a debate last night in Guild between you and Little Spyro, uh, not a debate necessarily, but a discussion. So apparently his his tree got nerfed a bit, and yours got buffed. Is he is he a different spec than you? No, it's the same tree, but he only saw the cataclysm nerf and didn't see the uh, empowered imp uh, buff. So you know, those two things offset each other. And I saw my crits were were a lot higher. I mean, hundred percent crit chance when empowered imp goes off. So um, you know, it's just a matter of you know, putting in more crit, more spell power gear, and maybe trying to balance more with the hit stuff, getting rid of hit gems and trying to get hit gear and more spell power gems, so. That's cool. I don't think, I think Warlocks pretty much ended up close to where they started off at. Um, as far as the gear goes, um, from my perspective, where I've got a geared Paladin and we need a geared Warlock, it, it's going to work out. Um, on the surface, it's irritating. Um, you know, you put in all this work and, you know, people are just going to be able to run face roll of heroics but at the end again at the end uh, they still aren't going to be able to do what we've been doing in Noble War and, uh, yeah like the point I brought up previously weapons are still going to be an issue you can't buy any weapons with badges you can't buy weapons and, and you can't and you can't uh, you just can't buy the type of experience that you get for you know spending eight hours on General Bezix or five hours on Mimiron and then finally getting the can account so uh, so in regard to uh, PvP was there any any change really with warlocks? Uh, it looks like that the uh, looks like the affliction locks are uh, got buffed quite a bit. There. Uh, so that's all the rest of us need. Yeah, the affliction talent, <laughs> affliction warlocks. Um, with cataclysm being nerfed, uh, destruction warlocks aren't going to be quite as heavy hitting. Looks like blizzard removed overall from a lot of the class a lot of the burst damage. Um, but uh, the uh, dock me slowly type. Uh, attitude of the warlocks um, got got quite a bit uh, got buffed quite a bit so I'm looking forward to dual specking and uh, running some arenas on uh, Kaylee and, and seeing how that works obviously the trick is going to be surviving the initial burst DPS of burst teams but uh, well with the change to resilience making it actually reduce damage done period you'll probably see more and more people stacking resilience gear versus PvE gear with more right. stats uh, one other thing, so with the improved imp buff, uh, what, what, how often would you say your imp crits and how much uh, no, DPS increase have you noticed? Uh, the DPS increase has been, the DPS increase hasn't been, uh, seemed to have uh, changed a whole lot, but the crit, uh, I do crit a whole lot more, so I guess my DPS is up probably by 500 points uh, overall. Um, but when my empowered imp went off in the new Coliseum, um, I had four or five crits for 14k in a row. So that's that's a pretty fun number to watch, Quan. And does that have an internal cooldown that you can see? Can the imp crit repeatedly? Do you, is there any way to determine his crit chance? I've not seen anything yet. I was looking at forums today. Um, people are people are guesstimating right now. No posts from Ghostcrawler or any of the other GMs, but uh, most people would guess it's the 45 second cooldown. Cool. Thank you, Rob.